There we go. There we go. Uh, the menu, that's why I can't walk. Okie dokie. Uh, yesterday we did Teramis's first and second quest. Can't do her third because uh, we complete like chapter 30 something, I think, of the story. Yeah, we gotta complete chapter 31 and also read. Hello, Crimson Willow. That's right here. And also reach uh, level 50 on her, but she's almost reached level 50. More that, uh. <laughs> leaning too much towards the screen again. But, uh. Okay. But yeah, she's. Uh, been improved, but oh, I don't have. Pretty sure I don't have enough uh, points to unlock her better version of uh, dragon. Yeah, I need two. Got one. Once she goes up another level, she'll have a better version of uh, how much spirit do I have on her? Uh, 112. Uh, let's see. So we've got that. Uh, we got. We're here in my five star pupil area. We got uh, Nikkei AS. Nikkei. I forgot how she said her name already. <laughs> oh, fancy. Oh. I'm gonna stop thinking that because it's bothering me. And she's got pretty purple hair, so let's just think about that instead. Purple? Purple. Not purple. I think she's kind of purple. Her outfit is purple. And she's she's wears purple and she's got purple gloves, so acceptable. Oh, I accidentally changed to the wrong party. Time to swap back over to my uh Glory party. There we go. Okay, I think we collected all the cats in the palace already. Look at this one. Oh, so. I need to not leave. It's kind of a challenge, though. And okay, we got this cat. Oh, look at this. Hold on. This sparkle. And I'm gonna there. King is up there. Oops, come out again. Go. Yes, kitty. Sit with me. Come here, kitty. Come here. Go. Sit with me. You're a good girl. I go that way because there's a uh, golem. Oh, this cat's very pretty. Sit from the left. Oh, look at, look at the big eyes. Yeah, I think we've collected most of the cats in the areas we can go to. So. Time to go back to Yoon again. So I picked up a bunch of quests there yesterday, and then I didn't do any of them because I went to Antiquity to collect cats. And then I did Tiramis' quests instead. Time rift. Yes. Let's eat this fruit in case we don't already have some. I want to test. We can probably clear marsh. Hard. 
we will switch Rika back line because not Rika, Amy, because poor Amy is a very low level. <laughs> Missing for a while. Let's see if we can clear a man-eating marsh. What we did before? No, we did Moonlight Forest. Moonlight Forest before. We've got Tiramis, so I would imagine I would imagine that the um, man-eating marsh would be easy. We'll have to see. See, we have two dungeons. Oh no, three. We've got Tower of Time as well. We're gonna try doing the man-eating marsh. And level 33. Hard. We can't do very hard yet. That and complete reading part one. Not sure which chapter that's at these. And by that I mean the when it is hasn't changed, I just don't remember when that is. It's basically the game, this main story, as it was at launch. Grimthorpe, uh, welcome! That's, that's a lot of emojis you got going there. Dad is drinking my water again. Why is she like this? Well... I guess she's just gonna do that. No one could she's too cute. I can't stop her. Summoner. Testing to see if I can do um, man eating marsh. Figured I probably could. Got Tiramis. Need her to go up a level though, so I can get her uh, the next level of her sister's ritual. Better. But it's it's good for this. Oh, I should probably- nah, I'm not gonna fight that. I run this dungeon a lot. Uh, so I know the names of the rare maps and where they are. This is a rare map, so I'm going over here to get the treasure. It could be a, uh, chance for it. Probably won't be, but it could be! Not like a 2% chance. No one could Pretty. defeat a dragon summoner! Not perfect. Well, I don't have any. You be cheesing the mooks. Yes. Owie! What are you doing, Kiki? I, I don't know if my cat knows what she's doing. This is um Cyrus's dungeon, which means up. he can get light points here. That's why I run it so I've armed light on him on my uh mobile account. Not as mo efficiently or starting as long ago as most people. Um I'm only up like 179 on him. I've been doing it for a long time. I could easily have maxed him out. But, oh. Hostiles eliminated. I didn't. And I take breaks from running it to do other things, and I don't use my green keys on it, so it's not like maximum efficiency. Chaotic site. Special about chaotic site. Hostile forces detected. Should probably run this properly at some point to uh Iris is the beautiful frogman, right? Yes. Cyrus right here. It is adorable face. I should swap up my party so that he's pro so you can see him death on back. Party. Let's rearrange party. It's gonna go right there. There we go. We got Amy back also. So she's in my party again. She's sitting in the back row because she's level 11 because she was missing for a long time. Cyrus must fight himself. He must fight his alternate reality self. Okay, we're just gonna actually do a summoner's ritual for a minute. We'll do two summoner's rituals, I think. Good. She uses up a uh, Dragon Origin staff each turn. Cyrus. Rest in peace, Cyrus. I'm very sorry. Taking better care of you. Ooh, if only you could have two of him. <laughs> That'd be funny. Okay, Rika, we need you to heal. We'll bring Cry into the front line to heal as well. Cry? Front line. 
heal. Uh, power down. Through twin dragons. Dragon. Oh, thank goodness we didn't die. <laughs> I thought I thought I was gonna wipe on the boss, that I was gonna be very sad. It, it helps that she's a really high level, so she just has a ton of health. Ultra twin dragons. Let's see. You can use it even though it's not gonna ignore his defense, because I don't have any dragons. Yeah. She consumes a dragon orange at the end of each turn. She runs out of them. I, that's why I need her to go up a level, because once she has the next level of her summoner ability, uh, it'll stack three instead of two. Zert girl carrying? Oh yeah. Carries hard. I could not use her, but uh... That would be really boring and hard. <laughs> I mean, I'll, uh, I'll, try, I'll try to actually fight something. Not the another dungeon, really. Okay. Let's see. I was deciding what to do. Can continue the main story in the future. We can go do some side quests that I picked up in in the present. Uh, we can start one of the episodes. Let's see. Let's, well, actually, I do want more episodes. Start this one and these three. Grab some water, BRB. Go again soon, Grimthorpe. Ocean Palace. Really like Ocean Palace. What do you think is the most interesting to do? Uh, I really don't know. This one, uh, IDA School Part 1, does open up two, then Part 3. For some reason that one was three parts. Two knights and holy sword. Complete that. You can do first knight and the holy sword. Get dear Dre five star. Strong. Uh, basically, there's no one particularly strong in the thousand year arc of the ocean palace, but I like the thousand year arc of the ocean palace. Uh, it's the one that lets you fish. Probably not the greatest. Of should probably just keep doing the main story for now, though, because I can't- There's a lot of things I can't do until I finish the first part of the main story. Travel to Elzean Airport, 1100 AD. There's a lot of stuff you have to finish the uh, first chapter to do, which is a wee bit unfortunate. We are perfect. Ink. Maybe, I don't know if we're even halfway through yet. I picked up this cat. It's not that beautiful it is. I touched the strange pillar of light. That's the healing spot. We're gonna fast travel so we don't have to run through the whole airport. Yes, the airport is weak. Boring. Elzian. Yeah, we didn't spend that much time in the future at all, so there's a lot more we can visit. Also a lot of side quests we can do in the future. Not in the future now. It's good to see this future again. How do we find information on Professor Kronos though? Well I searched my database. Professor Kronos led a whole team of Elzian's brightest scientists all in pursuit of the truth about Xeno Prisma. Lots of that info is going to be classified. I doubt searching a public database will turn up anything useful. Looks so pouty. Who does Cyrus? No. Perhaps it would be better to do things the old fashioned way. Had the professor any friends or colleagues we can speak to? There must be some researchers still around somewhere. Come to think of it, there's a guy right here in Gamma District who was on that team. Start with him. Alright, let's see what he can tell us. Cyrus is beautiful. Yes, he is. He's so lovely. Actually, we could go to Antiquity and do his first quest. You know. Okay, that's the silver on fading flower. <gasps> Cat! Red. 
said, yeah, let's go do his quest. Millie, look at Millie's little face. Adorable. A lot of stuff. I'm going to antiquity, which is my favorite time period anyway. Don't know if that's common common way of feeling about it, but it's how I feel. Well, I've done most of the quests in antiquity and not everywhere else. <laughs> Like, ah, oh, yes, antiquity. I will spend more time here. Future, this must be. Yeah, there's a little plane. I can never remember which of these. It's a little unfortunate. I like the sound these make. Good sound. Okay, I already collected these cats, because I was collecting cats here yesterday. Oh, actually, also, we, um, we got, I think I, I think this was before we arrived, we got, we got Nika AS yesterday, uh, for our free five star, random five star, on a character. I can probably give her a weapon, it's just really bad. We can have it anyway. So that's that's what we got for our five star. And there's a new banner. Uh, not the Star Dream Encounter. That's made during five star pick. Uh, no, these are all. Where's the where's the free ones? There's the free ones. There's a new banner. It's this one. It's uh, Arambel and uh, Suzette As. That's the one we got Nakoko off of. Didn't pull on that one. Anyway, so we can pull on this one if you want. We don't need to. Pay for. Hina! Like Hina? Remember? Like her a lot. Okay. Stuff to get water. Um, we traveled to antiquity. New Cyrus's quest. And then I rambled a bit about how we got uh, graceful move. Nika. I'll show her to you again. <coughs> Excuse me. Got this um Tana lady here. A.S. Yeah. I don't think her name's Nika. She said her name, and I cannot remember how she said it. It's spelled like that, though. Got her. And... And there's a new banner. Uh, you can pull on it if you want. It's underneath all the paid ones. Uh, this one. Jerem Bell and uh, Suzette A.S. Might pull on that if you want. Do it? Okay, we will do it. Got 5,000 gems, we can afford one bolt. That's not not dreams. Also, you'll notice since we defeated the evil on Sal Salamander, uh, the volcano no longer has a uh, smoky cloud over it. Gamble for your amusement. I will. I will do so. Let's see how this goes. I think we've had really good luck before, so uh, we're gonna get like a trash four star for our Arena again. Why is there so much Arena? Oh, oh, we got Victor. Five five star Victor. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. That that was pretty good. Here. Hi. It's good. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good to get a Victor. He's a new character. You can do some pretty insane multipliers. And uh, another. Nixa! Uh, she's garbage, but she's green, so I like her. Bella! Also not good, but. Okay. Star Ilulu. Wait, that still wasn't the guaranteed four star? Okay. We got Runa for our uh, guaranteed four star. Okay, that was actually, uh. That was actually pretty, pretty good. I tried to take a screenshot of it, but I don't know if I managed. I tried to take screenshots of all. Wait, 
Don't tell me you're also blessed by the secret power. <laughs> Gosh, this boy. My bad. I must have mixed you up with this fellow I used to travel with a long time ago. You've piqued my interest. I'm experienced, and I'm sure I can help you out. Let me join your adventure. Are they all gonna talk to us? I'm Ruina, from the IDA school. Those clothes are against school regulations. You have to wear a uniform if you're a student. What? You say you're not a student? I thought you might be some delinquent. Got it. I'll help you out as one of my extracurricular activities. As in another child, that was good very briefly. Hello there. I'm Nixa from the Order of the Fliareth. Oh, you seem to be troubled about something. Would you like to talk about it? It's no trouble. I'm always helping out the other knights with their worries. I am a Lulu. I take souls to their proper place. Oh, interesting. You have a very enigmatic color to your soul. Here, Victor's voice makes you think of that scene from the questionable gay adult film. That's that's very concerning. Where is a Lulu? I don't think I've seen such a soul before. She should I be here, I'm but she's she's not. Why life. is she not here? Don't worry. I'm just joking. That that was weird, actually. Oh, and then it and then it crashed. Uh, okay. That was something. Not not a good something, but it did happen. Gone. Yes. Now the game is gone. I'll get it back up here. Crashed the other day too, and I don't know why. It, it it's been very stable for me until now. <laughs> Started acting up for some reason. We'll get right back in here, and we'll. Uh, guess we'll look at our fancy new people. Although unfortunately, Ilulu. It was like, you got too lucky in your polls, kid. Oh, I have been so lucky, though. Got like five stars all the time. It's uh, very fabulous. Got quite a good collection of five stars for a free play. Really? Coco and Pyramus. Really, really helps with the, uh. Pyramus really helps. With I guess the problem is though, because she can do so much fixed damage with and everything, it's just like every strong enemy has to have more health than that because she can bypass defenses. Or health stoppers. Health stoppers do from as well. Okay, okay, I think. Back. We're back. I know what we got. We, uh, we actually did finish looking at it before the game crashed. Victor, joined our party. Perfectly balanced, comrade. Very good. Lulu. Regular Lulu is very bad. Brace yourselves. Other style Lulu is very good. Uh, but I believe Lulu is going to get a, um, manifest of things. That will make her not bad. I don't know if it makes her good, but I, I'm pretty sure she's not terrible anymore. Party. Okay, I think Cyrus's quest is over here in battle. It's not. It's over in actual, apparently. Okay, we'll just uh, map travel over there. I love this kid's face. So cute. Like a little grumpy mouth. And eating lunch. Actually, 
actually what I should do is I should see what I need to do to be able to do the Celestial Tower. That's what all it's to being able to do the Celestial Tower. Um, music is a banger in that area. Celestial Tower on the Shadow Witch. What do I need there to start? Part one of the main story must be cleared. So your quest must be cleared. Okay. But yeah, we'll keep working on- we'll do Cyrus's stuff and we'll keep working on clearing the story so we can play the Celestial Tower and the Shadow Witch. That's about Cyrus. He is the best frogman. Monster of the Man-Eating Marsh. Cyrus is concerned about his skills and wants to take on a job to train up. One job is a request to take out a monster seen in the Man-Eating Marsh. Request. Anyway, Cyrus, why was it you were turned into a frog again? I was actually very intrigued by this happening. You know, it's not like I like being like just a long story. What about you? You have an unusual appearance yourself. You must have come from overseas. I guess you could say that. The less of a sea, more of a river of time. River of time. I've never heard of such a river. Far from here? Matters not, Aldo. This is my first time back in the world, and sometime I need to become immersed in it. First? Yes, fret not. I mean no harm. I just mean to get involved in society and learn from it. I think if I take on an easy job, it should get me back to my old self. Uh, sure, if you want. And we shall visit the blacksmiths here in Actual. I have an acquaintance there. Acquaintance? Okay, let's go. Visit his acquaintance. Oh. Didn't have to walk there. I got walked there by, by the cutscene. That's nice. Wow, long time no see, Cyrus. How are you doing? Hmm, I think it's fair to say I've been better. As you can see, I'm in a spot of bother. That straw dummy, it just spoke. <laughs> Although this is no ordinary straw dummy, he's quite the informant. He is a good luck omen from the east, bringing news, love, and luck. If you say so. Even using my database, I would not be able to attribute any credibility to such information. Uh, why are they speaking? I don't know, but they do. Cyrus, these may be your friends, but they offend me. Holy needle stuck within me. None shall take it out. It is the stuff of legend. Never mind these two, they can't see what's right under their noses. <laughs> Cyrus, what brings you here today? As always, I am here looking for any news on my dear home country. This seems highly morally questionable. Talk to the straw dummies. Hmm, news from the east. I'm afraid there is none, nor is there news of your disciple. Oh, but I've received word of a terrifying green monster in the man-eating marsh. Green monster in the man-eating marsh? Yes, and it seems to be causing trouble for the people of Actual. How about you check that out? Hmm, so there has been a great beast on my doorstep all this time. Hey Cyrus, now that I think about it, according to my calculations, there is a 74% chance that this monster... Hmm, what is that? Is there a problem? Using talking things as practice dummies in the first place? Ah yes, that, that does seem very questionable. No, well, I guess the best thing to do is check it out ourselves. After all, saying is believing. What are you trying to say? But now you mention it, perhaps we should investigate. If you're all so afraid, then this monster must be a really terrifying beast. <laughs> you know, I'm getting a really bad feeling about taking on this job. It's like it's cursed or something. What are you talking about, Aldo? Is it because the job is dangerous that we are look it is because the job is dangerous that we are lucky to take it? Rika, you agree, don't you? Rika? Powering down. Whatever your feelings, we will take this job. If that is the case, then you should talk to the traveling merchant staying at the inn. It seems he was attacked by the monster and is in need of some help. Traveling merchant at the inn. Okay, let us go. Okay, okay, I guess we're heading now. Mm, the exciting quest accepted music. Good time. Excuse <sighs> me. 
again must be right over here. Yep, there it is. There is this merchant. You, it's you, the frogman. Huh? What is going on here? Don't you play dumb, you thief. How dare you walk in here after you've stolen everything from me. What? Are you talking to me? This is most unusual. But you're the infamous monster of the marsh. I've been receiving reports about you for a while now. Reports? I believe you're mistaken. I have done nothing wrong. Liar. Unless you're telling me there are two frogmen in the world, it's definitely you. Just as I feared. Cyrus, I think you had better just apologize to them. Although something isn't right, Cyrus has been with us the whole time. It is a physical impossibility that he could have done these things without our knowledge. You. Are you friends of this frogman? I have to say, you both look suspicious too. Ah. You are here to join this frog in his nefarious goings on, is that it? What? Don't be silly. We'd never do anything like that. Very upset about that. Right, I remember clearly. I was only attacked by the frog. Well, they might have been committing crimes somewhere else. <laughs> Listen, what if I were to investigate this case and bring the other frogman to justice? Right, that's what we came to do anyway. Just let us get on with it. I'm with them. You're not just saying this so you can run away, are you? Reports say the frogman lives in the man-eating marsh. You should go into the depths of the marsh. That's where we'll discover whether you're telling the truth. Okay, let's head out into the man-eating marsh. Iris, let's get this imposter. Look at his magni mag magnificent scarfy thing. Uh, wait. What are they using? Man eating marsh, we go. That's how we start the, um, the ocean palace. We're not doing that. The sentinels are just okay with this arrangement? Yeah, you know, it's a, uh, apparently I never walked there. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an RPG. That's very questionable logic. As, as you do. Somehow they got here before us. We left them. Ran straight here. We're too late. I fear he may have run away. Unless these are different people. Who may have run away? Where could my imposter be hiding? I see no trace of him. If you're looking for me? I'm right here. It's a big Cyrus. Warg, it's here. There really is another one. This is the green monster of the man-eating marsh? Arg. Help. So majestic! <laughs> you. So it's you. You are the one making me look bad. I like that he clearly was not meant to be scaled up to this size, but they did it anyway. Yes, I'm pulling out all the stops. You should thank me. Useless bandying words with a fool. Who are you? Why are you impersonating me? I dislike killing when not necessary, but in this case, I may just enjoy it a, enjoy it a little. Hm. Little frogman, you're every bit as annoying as you said you'd be. No frog, you're all chicken. Enjoy cutting you down to size. Into a massive goblin. It's a giant plum, gob plum goblin. What did you just say? She, you don't mean rep reptires. Reptire? So what if I do, chick frog? Tiras used to tell me about having fun around here, so I thought I'd give it a go myself. Very well. If you really are an acquaintance of hers, then I have no problem killing you. The big plum goblin, green monster of the man-eating marsh. Prepare yourself, I won't hold back. You talk big, frogman, but let's see if you have what it takes. Suppressing enemy. Green monster. Debuff his intelligence. Yeah, let's do this. This will be good. Prayer to the divine. Do an actual fight. 
So I was gonna do an actual fight, but apparently Cyrus is strong enough to win on his own. <laughs> you, I am defeated. Ripteras, where is she? Come now, even if I knew, do you think I'd tell you? Don't worry, you will die at her hands even without going looking for her. Looking forward to seeing you again. Mwahaha. Bye. Uh, GG easy. Yes, indeed. Very. Bad frogman. Hey, Cyrus. It's nothing. Just an old acquaintance. Person of fate. It would be reasonable to assume that she means something to you. I suppose you could say that. Okay, let us return. That sentinel who ran away will let the merchant at the end know the truth of this matter. For us, we should head back to the blacksmiths. Uh, oh, okay. Let's go back. Roger. Use the power of the map. There is a cat hair on my nose and it is very itchy. I don't know where she went. Oh, she's, she's sitting in the window. Having a nap. Ready? After she came and walked in my face and drank my water. Why are cats like this? The inn. Or not the inn. Blacksmith. Speaks with the straw dummy. So, one of Reptira's underlings. This is bad. Well, I knew the time would come when she'd return. Anyway, I'm glad that you've cleared your name. Cleared my name? What do you mean by that? Did I assert dominance? Oh, don't worry about that. You don't need to worry, Cyrus. Just a little thing. Yes. Ignorance is bliss. What's going on with you two? We achieved our objective and all got back safe and sound. That's all that matters, right, Cyrus? That was an excellent workout. I don't think robots need workout. Hmm, well I guess it did get me out in the world a little. Suppose you're right. Okay, then I guess it's time to go. Let us depart, Aldo. Never figured out that people thought he was a monster. Really little frogman? See if he has a second to do, or if we need to clear more of the story for that. Do our, our Cyrus run. Yeah. Do Cyrus related things. Okay, we gotta clear chapter 20. What chapter are we on? In, in, in progress. Definitely, there's definitely a quest in progress. Chapter 14, goodness. We're only on chapter 14. We'll, we'll work on the mains. Back to the future. It's just like the movie. Except with cats. And magic. Fantasy. And dragons. Cats. Lots of cats. I love the cats. They're great. I don't think there's any cats in the space-time rift, though. But... Cats. Heal up. Time to go to the future to work on... That here is very annoying. Oh well, that's what happens when you have a cat. Okay, gotta work on here. chapter 20. Don't know how much progress we'll make, but we'll make some. You know what, I actually want to... Not, uh... Not at all balanced. I really want Victor in here. It's oh. cool. I mean, his voice is cool, but he's cool. This is what happens when you play with the volume muted. Everyone sounds weird when you hear them. No. Oh, yeah. Let's travel faster to somewhere where we won't have to run through a bunch of really weak robots. All these pretty little floats. I don't know how they float, and I guess they have something keeping them up? But I'm not sure what it is. Because the, um, ground is, uh, unlivable now. Oh, one's up. 
The sky. Quests everywhere. Ignore them. Not a good idea, but it's what I'm gonna do. Find Professor Kronos's colleague. Learn. Might not think it to look at me now, but I used to be on the Xeno Prisma research team. Not like I worked with the prof personally, though. He was a true visionary. Genius. Hey, you want to know more about Professor Kronos? As much as I'd love to talk more about my glory days, I'm sworn to secrecy about a lot of that stuff. I will take your belongings. Talk to your son. Trying to get info out of my dad, huh? I could hear you from out here. Maybe a little gift would help loosen him up. I happen to know he has a thing for rare drinks. Knowing him, nothing short of a legendary blend will do the trick. Legendary blend. What kind of drink would that be? Thousands of years ago, they made something called Mirth Punch. It's too bad you can't get some of that. Hmm, that name sounds familiar. I believe a villager in Rattle once mentioned this concoction to me. Not much to go on, but it's the only lead we have right now. Last round in Rattle. Do I know that's a boy, this person? Uh... Because that's the guy future villager model. This is a girl child. That is a guy. Lady. That is the same guy as that guy over there. See? They're like, they're even wearing the exact same clothes! <laughs> They didn't even give him a different random outfit. There's just two of the same guys. I see, here's another one in this, this model. There's a, oh gosh, there's another one of them. There's like so many of this exact same man. Yeah. Oh, there, there we go. That's the young, young future la lady villager model. Sometimes they have different clothes or uh, hair colors. I think in Elzeon they're actually pretty. I think they got a bit better about differentiating the nameless NPCs later. It's all right, as long as you don't think about it. Yeah, if I think about it too much, the sheer numbers of butterfly, the sheer numbers of that same guy will uh, cause me massive distress. There, there's too many of him. Why are there so many of him? I'm not comfortable with it. Apparently, we should have gone to uh, in the future before doing a. Uh, Cyrus's quest, because we're heading right back to uh, the past. Very excited about butterflies on the flowers. Watching them and twitching her little tail. Okay. It's like time travel. You can't think about the time travel too much, because uh, gotta get some mirth juice. Oh, everything is decidedly non-alcoholic for some reason. I, I really don't know why. Just like, ah yes, these drinks that are definitely not alcohol. He's a lun he, he has the lunatic ability, which means he doesn't- the first turn he doesn't do an auto attack. Yes! That was awesome! Oh gosh, why does he sound so dumb? I'm very sad. He looks so cool. I wish you could mute individual characters. Flowers have seen some crap. These ones make me very uncomfortable. Oh, that cat, look at his- oop, no. I just want to look at his beautiful face. Come on, load. Load the cat's beautiful face! Look at that, look at that little face. Look at all this. I only have 17 of 122 cats. Faces of the ones I was fighting. Ah, uh, okay. Look at all these cats. I need more! More cats! I just want a cat clip. Not right now, but sometime. I won't oh, here, yeah, they're there. They're, they're terrifying. That reminds you of the villain from Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> that's, uh, that's funny. Oh dang. What the? At least these guys get for like nothing and then die. Yes! Okay. That was awesome! Stop talking. 
I'm removing you from my team, Victor. I don't want to listen to you talk anymore. It's upsetting me a lot. Maybe I'll get used to it. But not right now. Filter, uh, missed characters. There's Amy. There she is. Come back, Amy. Can't stand Victor's voice. It's upsetting me a lot. She's very cool. Her voice is very not cool. This is why you should not let the games, though. You be that way. You have a very bad ten games. You did, and then they sound super like not important. I love this cat. Look at her cuteness. Look at Ferris. She's a little fluffy darling. Sorry, I'm gonna switch you for Ferris. Bye, Mona. Go back to the palace. That run. You're so orange. Like my Leo. Quality cat. Cats are great. I need to collect some of the robot cats from them. I almost never- Let's keep it up. I don't think I've ever taken them with me, but they're very cute. They're little robot cats. Here's the guy who has the first punch. See, I, I, I know where it is. Where it was the first time, too, because I talked to this guy before. Wee hee 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 hee. Nothing like a refreshing drink after a hot bath. I've been looking forward to slurping down this mirth punch all week. This stuff has a real kick to it. Hey, did that monster just say something about mirth punch? I must beat up the monster. Beverage. Uh, hey, you're... Woo hoo hoo, humans. How dare you disturb the great lord ukulele during his leisure time? Sorry, it's just we've been looking for some mirth punch ourselves, and... Fire and brimstone, so you're after my tipple, are you? You wretched humans truly have no shame. Cooling sweetness after the heat of a lava bath. It's one of the greatest pleasures I know. No, don't steal his drink. <laughs> How dare you try to take for that from me. Prepare to face the consequences. No mercy, battle mode engage. Fight Lord Ukulele. You will fall to my blade. Oh, to Cyrus Gade. Also, fuck him. This attempt. Fuck him. Okay, I don't think we really need you for this, Tiramis. Just let Cyrus handle it. We should get Cyrus a better time. He can be strong and kill people. Sometimes it gets windy outside and I Let's see it out of the corner of my eye. I should do something about that so I stop staring at it. Woo. I tire of this senseless violence. Consider yourselves lucky. Ah, hui hui. What was all that about? Got mirth punch. You, none of it got spilled. We got what we came for. We should head back to Elysian. The Lord Youth. Illy is an important character because he didn't die. And I don't I don't think he's actually important. For some reason he just doesn't die. Forever. Tiny Dragon Man. Let's travel to the space-time rift so we can travel to the future. This middle one. It's easier when your quest marker is on them. Old man. Not allowed in there yet, though, because we can't go do manifest weapons yet. Not that we have anyone we can get a manifest weapon for yet, anyway. Everyone's too low a level or not maxed out. Actually, I think. Do we have that can even get a manifest weapon? I think there's. Iris? I have regular. Yeah, just Myrus, really. 
Wait, I gotta. No, I should not. I, I do not like the airport. It is so big, and you run into so many really weak enemies uh, that I would prefer to just wait for the map to load so that I can fast travel to Elysian and skip the airport. I don't like the airport. My least favorite place. I've done the least fishing there. A nuisance. Back to the old researcher man. Time to give him beverage. Bribe. Go there. You might not think it to look at me now, but I used to be on the Xeno Prisma. Hey, is that Mirth Punch you've got there? How did you get your hands on a rarity like that? Let's just say we uh, persuaded a guy to part with it. Hard to believe this even exists anymore, and you're giving it to me? Yeah, don't mind if I do. I'm going to really take my time and appreciate this. Fishy! What was it you wanted again? Oh right, Professor Kronos. Must have been uh, 16 years ago, maybe. One day, the prof and his entire family just disappeared. They were never seen again. I still haven't been able to make sense of it. They weren't the types to leave without notice. If you want to know more, you could check out the Xeno Domain. It's a floating research facility high above this city. The prof and his family used to live there. The official investigation didn't turn up any clues, though, so you probably shouldn't get your hopes up. Is she... It's... Nope, it's a real fishy, though. The Xeno Domain. Huh. Thanks for your advice. We'll go take a look. The water drink. Okay. I accidentally left it on my good people party. By good people, I mean my five-star characters. <laughs> I only have these ones. That's actually probably a pretty decent team. Got her for a switching attack. You got her for a... Priority attack. First, you got her for wiping all the garbage. You got her buffs and stuff for healing and I think she's fine she's not wait I didn't switch my party like I meant to I went in there to switch it and then I just blabbered about it instead there we go my story plus Tiram Tiramis characters oh it's the sun how'd it go did you get him to open up a little he was able to point us towards the Xeno domain at least you're kidding, right? That place has been closed for years. The old Babel elevator is shut up tight, and the only way to get the uh, to get there from here. And that's the only way to get there from here. Apparently they closed it down to reassess its safety. The administrator is in charge of all that, but you can't just walk into his office and demand to see him. You need to figure out a way to talk to this administrator <laughs> and get access to the Babel elevator. Where there's a will, there's a way. I will search for all relevant personnel information relating to the administrator. Hey, hold on a second. Are you sure it's okay to do that? It is for an important cause, is it not? Search complete. The administrator often plays chess with Sebastia. Same Sebastia we met before? That makes things a little easier. Let's head over to Sebastia's place. Mm. Is she on this floor or is she on the other one? Run fast, my little people. Run fast. Butterflies all over flowers. How lovely. <laughs> my phone just go Vroom! The elevator ate them. Don't let elevators eat you. They're very untrustworthy. More of this man. So many. Sebastia with her hair that looks like taffy. Oh hi everyone, what brings you to my humble abode? Hi Sebastia, we were wondering, could you introduce us to the administrator? Huh? What do you want with my chest buddy? Let me guess, someone's gotten themselves into trouble again? Right. Trouble doesn't even begin to cover it. We're talking about saving all of time and space here. Needs to munch her hair. <laughs> Taffy is good, though. Banana taffy, honestly. Sounds like a whole bag of serious. All this time and space stuff is a little too heavy for me, but sure, I'll introduce you. What can I say? I've got kind of a soft spot for you guys. You do us a great honor. Do 
Here you go. Take this recording module. Now here's what you get, what you do. Go to the same elevator you always use. Tell it you want to go to the administrator's office. After it replies, play back the message I've recorded on it. Tell him I say hi when you see him. Face to have friends in high places. Thank you very much, Sebastia. Oh, pink and shiny. Okay, I, okay, good. We can go from this elevator. What is this? Character quest for someone not in my. Okay, it's full. Cool. Let's say it's a character quest for someone that's not in my party. I couldn't think who I had, but actually I've got a lot of future characters, so most of my character will be here. She's a bit of security risk, lol. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh. Oh, we'd like to go to the administrator's office. Guests with temporary registrations are not permitted to access this floor. Please submit a formal request after registering for full citizenship. Thank you for your cooperation. Wait. Don't just stand there, Aldo. Play back the message Sebastian gave us. Oh, right. I pushed this button here, right? Hi there. This is Sebastian. Administrator, I know you're listening. These people are my friends, and they really want to see you. It's a matter of life and death, so they say. You're looking into a researcher by the name of Kronos. Ring any bells? How about you talk to them for a minute or two, just as a favor to me? Okay, thanks. Bye. I guess she is a child. Um, probably shouldn't let a child have that much power, even when she is a genius. What good is a message like that going to do? Security level bypassed. Access to administrator's floor granted. It worked. That's really something. I suggest we get in the elevator before it leaves. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's gonna eat them. I didn't see it eat them this time. Administrator's office. Anything on these sides? Nice little trees. Very pretty. Here's... The administrator! Whatever this is. <gasps> Androids. Only the administrator is authorized to give me orders. I apologize for any inconvenience. Same thing. I'm programmed to only obey orders from the administrator. Acting against my programming is a strict violation of my moral code. Two versions of them. Hello, administrator. Look at his lovely hair. What a bizarre room. What purpose does a place like this serve? This is my first time accessing such a high-level area. Are you the administrator? Can you tell us anything about Professor Kronos? Definitely has nothing to do with the Kronos stones that we use to gamble. What? The professor? Just who are you people? Sorry about them, sir. My name's Amy from Ishars. I'm a hunter by trade. These are my friends, Aldo, Rika, and Cyrus. For what it's worth, Aldo and I were the ones who defeated the synth human officer, Galliard. Ah, of course. I've heard about you. I knew this day would come. Professor Kronos vanished 16 years ago, along with his wife and young children. It was so sudden as if they'd been completely wiped from the face of the Earth. The last project Kronos worked on was shrouded in mystery. Rumor has it something went wrong with one of the experiments, and that led to his disappearance. Even after all these years, we haven't been able to discern what really happened that day. Kronos' lab has been left exactly as it was when it was found. A time travel. Nah, definitely not in this game about time travel. <laughs> Whether that was out of respect for his memory or fear of what he discovered, I honestly can't say. You'll need my permission if you want to investigate it yourselves. I'll need you to tell us everything about the situation up there. Do we have a deal? Sure, sounds good to me. Can't fool you. Too smart. Very well. I'll grant you access rights to the Babel Elevator and Xeno Domain. Report back to me if you find it. Kronos was a good man. I hope you can finally solve this mystery. You can use the Airbus to get to the elevator entrance. There's a station right outside this room. That's okay. We gotta go down here. Take. Elzian Babel Airbus is back in service with limited departures. Travel to the Babel Embarkation Yes, please. Babel Embarkation Floor. These are very nice trees. I like them. Welcome to Project Babel, Elzian's finest high-speed transport system between geostationary satellites. We are currently running a temporary service to Xeno Domain. Are you ready to depart? Prediction. 
Kronos is going to be a significantly worse human being than people think he is. Find out. Well, you'll find out. Initiating takeoff sequence. Time to fly. Sky. Actually, to a geo. Geostationary. Synchronized. S satellite. Thing. So this is that babble thing. How does it work? Babble elevator engaged. Whoa, what the? Gotta take an elevator to space. Very secure. No way. This is... Hello, what magnificent scenery. You can see all the stars in the sky and our own planet down below. Wow, who knew there was so much out here? The universe is more vast and beautiful than we can imagine. We can't let all this be destroyed. I guess you're right. Well said. Alien presence incoming. High levels of aggression detected. Have no faces. You I don't like their lack of faces. Me. Murder them, Pyramus. You have to keep going. So strong. Those things just now. They looked a lot like the Phantom. Reinforcements detected. Brace yourselves for battle. Now there's three of them. These guys just don't give up. Instance to kill them. <laughs> Boorish oafs deserve to be ground beneath our heels. We shall do so indeed. The mighty power of Tyramus. Get him! It'll be very sad when she can't use to kill her. That's why I need to get her 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 uh, next level and do a little more damage. Okay. And again, she does cap out around at a certain amount. <laughs> you again. Cease your meaningless resistance and accept your fate. No one can stop the giant time quake now. Destruction of the cosmos is inevitable. There's no way we'll accept that. Go back to the netherworld if you don't like it. As long as we're still standing, we'll never give up. Perhaps you'll change your mind when you see where such foolishness will lead you. Gaze on the demise of your world and lament your own powerlessness to save even a single soul. Why is he so emo in his close-up picture? Um, maybe to convey how, how much he wants everything to be destroyed. It's a bit emo, right? I, I don't really know. Here we are, the Xeno Domain. I don't know why it has to be spiky, but it looks cool. Also just got like some skyscrapers attached. More punk than emo. Okay. Have arrived. You have arrived at your destination. In the synth voice, same thing apparently. I like how they just- I was gonna say they have a photo of it, but that might actually be a, uh, screen. Arrived in Xeno Domain. Chapter 15. It's this way. Gosh, I forgot how much- I won't hold back! It's okay, we've got Tiramis. It will make life bearable. Hostiles eliminated. This really does improve. Door is locked. Okay, so we'll need to go this way to unlock that door. We do. Get on your knees and surrender. These guys crack me up. <laughs> kind of like. <laughs> we don't understand their movements. They're also like the same model as the uh, slug monster, snail slug leg monsters from uh, antiquity on Brewery High Road. But, like smaller of the shell. Victory. 
Let's have you use this Actually, kind of the same model as the sandworms. We'll get to eventually. Passcode something D something F. That's probably useful for something. You're a fool to chat. I don't remember me. what, but we'll find out. They are rather funny. No one can defeat a dragon summoner. The Death Star. That's actually a Death Star. Probably supposed to go that way, but I kind of want to know what's this way. Suppressing enemy. Suppressing enemy. I have um, not good memory. Sand. I had to fight. Killing a hundred of them was a massive pain. I mean, there's enemies that are worse than that, but that was like the first one I tried to kill a hundred of that was difficult. Okay, let's actually leave here. Big enemies everywhere. I don't want to fight them. Go the other way, because I imagine it's safer. Out face. Run away. Run away from the enemies. I'm a coward. This will probably let us bypass that locked door. Past the Death Star. I won't hold back! Keep an eye on here, this is MP as well. She'll run out eventually. Let's keep it up. And then we'll have to eat food. So she basically has double whatever her actual MP is. Oh, that door's locked too. Okay. We have to go towards the strong enemies I wanted to run away from. Hostile forces detected. A pity. Hostiles eliminated. Oh really? Good work. Don't I think I think I can avoid the enemies. I think they're patrolling. Now that we'll respawn, we'll... I think these guys are patrolling, so I can avoid them. If they were stationary, then you, you pretty much can't avoid them if you can get past them. But if they patrol, then I you can usually avoid them. Which is what they tend to be doing in... They've got lightsabers. Like, that's a lightsaber, yeah? Can we fight you? How tough are you? Not a good... This is not a good thing I'm Strong doing here. Enemy. Not a problem. Heal, debuff, that, summon his ritual, see, see what happens. Dead. Mostly. Okay, time to run away like a coward. No, let me run away. Let me run away like a coward. Let me run away. I don't want to fight this man with his lightsaber. Well, I mean, robot with his. I don't want. I don't want any part of it. I'm too weak for that. Yeah, we're just gonna have to sneak past them. I don't think my people can have lightsabers tragically. Luckily, Tiramis is fast, so it doesn't matter that we're almost dead for fighting these. System guys. damaged. Requesting repairs. No repairs. Sorry. Over here. Ooh. This is the other half of the code. Okay, so it's 2D 5F. Me. I love these guys. Gently. I like them. They feel kind of like peaceful fishes. I mean, they're dead now, but. System damaged. Requesting repairs. She's very upset about how dead she is. <laughs> Dang, there's more of them. Why are there so many? I don't like this place. I won't this place is miserable. Back. I want out. I want out of this horrible Oof, place. That was a close one. No, 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 no! I ran into it. I ran right into it. That was strong enemy. Not really bad. Okay, we're done. <laughs> No 
No one defeats a dragon summoner. I'm having trouble accepting that she's been defeated. Okay, that was less than ideal. I did that so well the first time I did it originally. Then again, I was also massively overleveled and I think I killed some of them, so... Maybe that's why it was easy the first time. And, like, I've got I've got Tiramis and she's overleveled, but that's pretty... You're a fool to challenge me! Luckily, everyone's healed up now. Now we just gotta sneak through properly. Um, no one can defeat a dragon Is that summoner. girl so sad now that she got bullied? Yeah. Her voice is actually not particularly annoying. I thought it would be. I mean, I don't know why they decided to give her that voice, but it isn't an annoying voice. So. I won't hold back. Of course, you know, annoyingness of voices is very subjective, and I'm easily annoyed by people's voices. You can't actually mute the characters, but I figured I'd let them all talk, even if it does sometimes cause me pain. Maybe if I want to run a team with like Zoira and uh, Victor, maybe then I'll mute them <laughs> so I don't have to listen to them. Miu. Miu is a meme. I haven't used her, but. Okay, yeah, these guys aren't so bad. You can kind of just sneak around. Dang it. Never mind, they are bad. I, I suck. What the? Run! Let's get out of here! Oh, thank goodness we got to run away on the first try. Where are we now? Okay, we're down here. The thing about them is, I guess we need to go through in that one over here for this one. It's us. Goodness, that's annoying. It's like a puzzle. Timing puzzle. I don't like it. I'm bad at it. <laughs> yeah. We did 20 guard drones. Making some good progress on our, uh, our stuff. Dang it! I can't. I can't get through there. I tremble with excitement. No, oh, I want to run. Let me run away. I am a coward. Thank you. Thank you for accepting my cowardice. You know what? My thing is. Cool. That's better. I guess what we do is we wait here. That. And then we go down here behind this guy. Okay, we can go down again. Goodness, this place is miserable. Enemy. I don't like it. The Death Star. Understandable. Ooh, sparkle. Uh, I don't like when there's sparkles in these. Need to wait for them to go that way. Sneak in behind them. Yes. Go this way. Suppressing enemy. These robot drones. Dragon. Very nice. No one can defeat a dragon summoner. We can go this way. Very good, very good. Escaped the robot maze. It's kinda like a maze of robots. A maze of patrolling robots. We survived it. And Rick is not even complaining about how she's almost dead anymore. Got the master key. Slide down the trash chute? Uh, you want to slide down the trash chute? I'll let you decide. Good job. Thank you. Go where we belong. Trash. I don't know where it is. <laughs> the cat landed. How did the trash shoot 
Get Lead us back. I'm very confused because I don't think we Victory went up. Achieved. And yet we went back to the beginning of the robot maze. My head hurts. That's lovely though. Very lovely. Don't worry about it. Oh, I'll, I'll try. I'll try not to worry about it. Bronze bullet. Why? Why would you have a bronze bullet? I don't understand. You will the future. To my laser name. beams. And also bullets. Shall we venture? These are the future. Future. The, the little chest icons are different depending on the era. Iron prod. Way. Oh, I think this is. Yeah, I think that's the door that we walked before. We can probably go Hostile in and out it now. Hostiles eliminated. Let's see what's. What's. Here. Yeah, this was the door that was locked. Now we can go through it. Continue seeking for information on Sir Chrono. Why did that Iron Giant have a lightsaber? Uh, why not? Would you want to give an Iron Giant a lightsaber, Crimson Willow? I won't hold back. Good. Kill these men. I mean, let's keep it up. Yes, let us keep slaughtering the innocent robots. I can't remember if there's anything. Go check. Brace yourselves. Brace yourselves. <laughs> Sometimes I repeat after my characters. It's not a good habit, but it is one I have. Come on, Tiramis. You can do it. You can reach level 46. Ooh, in here. Very fancy. Maybe there's loot in this other room, too. No, but there seems to be a thing. Looks like a scientist log. Which page do you want to read? Page 3, Our New Life. It's now been 10 days since I was assigned to the Xeno Project. Never had so much stimulation for my intellectual curiosity. Glad I got over my misgivings about working in a lab in orbit. Xeno Domain is a top-of-the-line facility. It's beyond anything back in Elsian. My experiments on the surface? Child's play compared to what I can achieve now. The wonders don't end there. The project is being led by Professor Kronos. Who wouldn't be honored to work with such a visionary in the field of Prisma research? He will change the world? I know it. His intelligence, and above all his courage, are cut above the rest. He and his family lived right here in the facility. They're dedicated to seeing this project through to its completion. Our world is suffering. We can't just ignore the energy crisis and hope it'll go away. There are plans being developed to extract alternative energy from the land below, but I don't believe they will come to anything. Those methods simply don't produce enough power to meet demands. It's just an excuse for companies to try and make a profit. Humanity's only hope for survival is enhancing the properties of Xeno Prisma. That's why I, too, am determined to make this project a success. Xeno Prisma was discovered 400 years ago. No way modern technology can't improve on it somehow. That is the ultimate goal of this project. Our ancestors abandoned the surface and built cities in the sky. If we persevere likewise, we will find a way to save the world. That is what Professor Kronos said in his inaugural address, and I believe him. These words will be my guiding light. Uh, let's read page 35, the next phase. It's been several months now since I was assigned to the Xeno Project. Research on the Xeno Prisma is proceeding well, and our team is becoming more close-knit. Some researchers from KMS joined us recently. They're all genuine experts in their fields. I had my doubts about working with a corporate sponsor, but those worries have now been dispelled. Must be sounding a little cult-like. <laughs> cult of Professor Kronos. I'm especially impressed with Solva, the manager of the KMS team, who's been a great help to Professor Kronos. If they keep things up this way, KMS may rebuild their reputation after all. At the end of the day, we're all scientists. We will be able to produce some good results. We're almost ready to start testing an improved Xeno Prisma design. The results of this experiment could change the future of the entire world. I can't wait. More than anything, I just want to see what will happen. I believe this curiosity is all part of being a scientist. That is all the page. Time to leave. Noises on it. Like, what on earth is it? It's raining. To my blade. But my Alexa lied to me. She said it wouldn't rain today. I had to go out and water plants. I mean, I didn't get bit by any mosquitoes for once, thank you. Still went out in that horrible heat. 
Apparently, I didn't need to. Feel betrayed by my robot friend. You will fall to my blade. Hermes is making my life so easy. It's it, it's not even funny. Like this was all such a pain back in the day. I am so massively lucky to have her. Okay, that goes up. We should probably check Brace out these yourself. rooms before we go up. Summoner's ritual. Summoner's ritual is great. Robot friends don't care about you. <laughs> Stares at Rika. <laughs> That's funny. It's a research report. Read it. <clears throat> the new synth human morality OS is complete. Now we just have to wait for their emotion chips to be developed. I feel like a few too many people are sniffing around the Xeno project lately. You know what they say about curiosity. Go in that way and then come out. Yeah. Now we get to go up the escalator. Suppressing enemy. Say it with me, kids. Cults are bad. But what about cultic? Cultic bad. Never. Okay, I peeked. Two hats. Suppressing enemy. Summoner's ritual. Hello, Pikachu hats. Victory achieved. Victory achieved. Yes, we are owning these robots with the power of Tiramis. It's a, it's, it's a good power. It makes our lives easier and less sad. I think we'd be able to manage this, but it would be... Well, you get to kill cultists and cultists, so it's fine. Ah. Uh, okay. Ooh, chest. I don't think most of the things in these chests really matter all that much because a lot of time is like, materials enemy. for crafting stuff. But it makes me excited to open them. I like a no one can defeat it. I feel, I feel excited when I get to open loot. And I guess that's how people sell loot boxes. Like, yes, open this box and get things. It's a research document. Read it. Yes, we will read it. You know, project interim report from Solva Manager. FAO KMS main office. This report covers the results and potential issues pertaining to the Xeno, proje Xeno project thus far. I can't read properly. The project has succeeded in development of an improved Xeno Prisma model. See the attached data for reference. Its energy efficiency is superior to natural sources and could end the energy crisis if properly implemented. However, it has a fatal flaw. The quantum acceleration within the ultra compressed Prisma core causes dimensional distortions. Several time quakes occurred during our initial experiments. We have sealed this prototype in the terminal core for safety. After further research, we have concluded that this phenomenon also occurs at smaller scale within traditional Xeno Prisma. It's my considered opinion that it is too soon to think about mass producing the new Prisma in its current form. I suggest we suspend this project and immediately move forward with the Geo project to address these issues. Okay, more about the time quakes. Not about how to stop them, but. Go in here. FAO, all KMS staff, notice of suspension of operations. Xeno Project is hereby declared su successfully completed. All KMS staff are to return to the main office. Approved model Xeno Prisma is to be re re recreated and mass produced for commercial distribution. Please note, former manager Solva has been dismissed for failure to turn in reports and harming the company's profits. Xeno Domain will be put into suspension mode. Self defense features will also be engaged to prevent data leaks. Anyone attempting to re enter the facility will be expelled with extreme force. This course of action has been approved by the Board of Governors. All information on the project must be kept strictly confidential. Ooh, shady things are down up here. Ah. Can't walk through the door, apparently. Okay, right over here. Where we will find more information. You will fall First, I gotta kill these funny little bouncy robots. My little bouncy robots. Very cute. Hostiles eliminated. 
Okay, there's... I guess we need to go through this one. It has... a thing. Oh, do they both lead to this room? I think they don't. Found here. Light went out. This image is Professor Kronos and his family, right? That kid and the baby. Is that really me and Fine? I can see their names here. Eden, age 3. Cecil, age 0. Probably not Cecil. It's probably like Cecile. Eden and Cecile. Are those the names Fine and I were born with? Whoa, what was that? The lights went out. Doesn't seem like a regular blackout. Gonna be attacked by more phantoms? No, we're just gonna watch a video. What is it this time? Only a hologram. According to the staff records, this is likely Professor Kronos and his wife, Madoka. That means these are mine and Fine's parents. Eden Cecil. I keep wanting to call her Cecil, but I don't think that's correct. Cecile, you've done well to make it this far. This message is set only to play when a member of our family is in the room, so I know it must be you watching this. Picture speaks. What futuristic sorcery is this? I don't know if you're here together or if it's just one of you, but I knew you'd find your way back to this lab one day. There's so much I want to tell you, but our time is running out. Xenoprisma was developed 400 years ago. It artificially amplifies the energy output of normal prisma. But it also causes temporal distortions if left unchecked. It could cause untold damage to all of space and time. On realizing this, we immediately set to work developing a safer, more efficient version, the Geoprisma. But we were too late. The damage had already been done. It was only a matter of time before the Xenoprisma blew. It was selfish of me, but I wanted to give you children some kind of hope for the future. I managed to develop a prototype, the Alpha Geo. I implanted a piece into your newborn body, Eden. It took three years, but I was able to make improvements and placed a new Geo Prisma in Cecile as well. If you're watching this, the world is surely facing disaster, but you two are the key to our salvation. Then again, if my project succeeds, there will be no danger and you can live in peace like normal children. I'm about to begin my final experiment. Eden and Cecile are asleep in the laboratory. I have to take responsibility for what I, what all of us have done. Eden, Cecile, take care of each other. I wish you all the happiness in the world. That's all from me. The door to the terminal core will be unlocked for you now. Your mother would like to say a few words too. Hello, Eden and Cecile. I wish I could be there in person and see how you've grown. I'm sure you've both become wonderful young people. Your father and I both think the world of you too. Eden, Cecile, I love you both so much. Please live a good life. Madoka, it's time. We have to go. All right. End of the message. Sinking. Maldo, we'll be outside if you need us, okay? Amy, I do not detect anything that requires our attention outside of this room. Can it, Rika? Just give him some space. You too, Cyrus. Cyrus can be quite the oblivious lad. Thanks everyone, I feel like we haven't seen everything there is to see yet, we should keep at it. Got to be a hint about stopping the time quake somewhere in the professor's notes. Well, they did say we could go in that room now, which is presumably, yeah, this room. Major trial, okay. Uh, we should eat food, so we are prepared for the major trial. Ultra jerky. Meek spice and the marinade really whets the appetite. Major trial awaits you beyond this point. Seed? Yes. We will see if we can handle it. This has been left undisturbed all these years. Let's take a look. I don't know if we can, but with the power of Tiramis, sure, surely we can survive. Very cool. Not sure what it is, but very cool. Yet another mysterious chamber. What is this place? I believe we are looking at the prototype cores used to develop Xenoprism. 
Their degradation has reached critical levels. Returning them to regular operating conditions is not an option. There's two of them, Zeno and Geo, right? Kronos was working on these cores when he disappeared. Discover something he shouldn't have. Something as fundamental as Prisma breaking down like this. Yikes, what the heck is that? Intruder alert, terminal core breached. Must be part of the facility security system. I think it's a very angry hairdryer. Terminal core must be preserved. Maximum force authorized, initiating expulsion protocol. Brace yourselves, here it comes. Synth drone. Very pretty. Do light it. Let's see, yeah, let's do some debuffing if we can. That will make things easier, I imagine. Does hit hard? Oh. Heal. Heal, yes. Just do that, that, that. Hermes here. Okay. Don't have any status cures. Well. No, I don't think I don't think Rosetta can cure status. Maybe she can. I should probably know what my characters do, which is why. Not, not so good. There we go. We'll be able to take it down. Medical support activated. We don't really have. I think this. I think it's weak to fire. Uh, and Aldo is asleep. He won't be. I'll do it straight with the dragons. Dang. It's really strong when you use it repeatedly. Target acquired. I guess that's the. Oh, the dragon's gone. Can use the weaker version. Because it does care about armor. Oh, Cyrus. Exterminate. We can live with Cyrus wings. Okay, we're gonna win, which means you can swap into back row. Heal, and you can use a fire attack because it's weak against that. Prayer to the divine. Medical support. support. Oh, How am I supposed to kill it faster if it buffs its armor? Hyper resist? I think that's Let's just have Aldo poke it to death. Medical support Aldo. activated. Not Aldo. Yeah. I don't know. Not your spirit. Oh, Cyrus is back. Yeah. Right, it's gone. Medical but Cyrus is back, and that's activated. what it is. Did he kill it? Oh, he didn't quite get it. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. Dead? Oh, We're not dead. All is wrong. I'll punish you. Yeah, Cyrus got it. I mean, Tiramis did most of the work, but Cyrus finished it off, so, you know, he gets a little bit of credit. Oh, that's it. Oh, dear. That boss looks cool. It's dead now. Rest in peace. Whoa, what's happening now? Nothing bad. I think we've awakened a sleeping beast. Regularity detected in the prototype Prisma. Huge surge in energy from another time plane is heading this way. The shock must be making the whole system go haywire. No, it inverted. Gravitational wave detected in the Xeno Prisma's orbit. The temporal distortions are getting worse. What is it? This is a synth drone. No, has the world started coming apart already? We can't be too late. Something's happening, for sure. No, no, no. This is not good. What's going on here? Something's wrong with the Xenoprisma. Oh dear, they're all reacting. That can't be good for the world. Emergency. Xenoprisma with an Elzion have become unstable. The situation cannot be contained. What are those kids doing up there? What is happening? Holes in the sky are usually bad. I mean, maybe there's a time when they're not bad, but I'm not really sure what that would be. Oh, not antiquity. Like antiquity. Pretty there. 
I've heard it. Hmm, it seems to have calmed down for the moment. What was that just now? Xeno Xeno prototype is breaking down. That energy has resonated with Prisma in the city, further warping space time. Way to the corridor time layers is open. Gateway connecting another plane of existence to our own. Might just be able to dissipate the time quake across dimensions and mitigate the damage. Who are you? How about it, Eden? Can your Alpha Geo prevent this disaster? Going to try? Do it soon. You don't have a lot of time left. Wait, are you? Slip, slid away. He's gone. Not answering any questions. Are you alright, Aldo? I don't think he's alright. I think he's had kind of a rough day. Oh dang, you can see the big sp space time hole out his window. I see, so Professor Kronos developed a means of traveling through time. What we're seeing in the sky is the Corridor of Time Layers. Is that what he called it? This is what's going to save us from the time quake? How is that supposed to work exactly? We'll, we'll have to go right inside and erase the distortions from there. I can barely believe it. How will you be able to get there and back safely? I, I don't know. You mean with a name like Kronos? Clearly his parents intended for him to invent time travel. If we don't do something, the time quake will just will happen just the same and that'll be it for the world. The Oracle said we don't have much time left too. We can't afford to wait. How are we even supposed to get close enough? The warps in space-time are so bad, all our airships are grounded. There may yet be hope. Use my matter transmission engine. It breaks down objects and people into a beam of light and sends them across great distances. We haven't had any need to use it since we ceased communication with the surface. It shouldn't be too hard to estimate the opening's coordinates. We can get you there in the blink of an eye. A beam for moving people. It sounds incredible. Worry not, Cyrus. The technology was mastered centuries ago. It is completely safe. Then we are agreed. Can we use it now? Are you sure? We have no way of knowing what may befall you in there, or if we'll be able to get you back. Most of the city is on lockdown, but I can give you access to Gamma and Theta districts. This sounds highly questionable. Oh yeah. I mean, is it really trying to save the world from the destruction of time and space if you're not doing highly questionable? Teleporting yourself into a hole in the sky? I guess you're right. We better make sure we're prepared. Tell me when you're ready. I'm gonna say I'm ready, but actually I'll I'll go buy I'll go see if I can buy them some better swords. Uh, I can't remember if the blacksmith is in the Gamma District or the Theta District. I should, but I can't. Come on, where is my map? <gasps> in the Gamma District. Yes. Lucky break. We could probably have different things to say right now. Just when I thought I'd seen the worst with the synth human disturbance, now there's a giant time quake. Goodness, it's just one thing after another. All I want is to live a normal life. Is that so hard? I don't think I have these cats. Come to me, cat. Oh, I have a cat? Okay. We go to Ishar's. I don't need to talk to Zoe. Talk to the guy behind the counter. Buy all of my material, please. Please don't cry. A little worried. Oh, thank goodness it didn't crash. <laughs> all is well. All is right. Okay, we need a sword for Aldo. That's not a good sword. That is what I can buy. Run Manny Marsh for that. Oh, we'll buy this sword because. No, no, I'm not going to give you this absolutely beautiful sword. That as well. Purchase that as well. No, I said I will purchase it. I want to press cancel. Bye. Use any staff wielders? Even get Cyrus. I don't think I can. I think the gear, the good gear, I need to um actually run. I think I need to actually run dungeons to be able to make better gear currently. We'll give him this. 
I don't have that. Convenient to buy. You want like one of each weapon. Collection purposes for achievements. One of that. One of that. One of that. That. I should check actually if I have one of the best sword I can build. Elemental rapier though. That. Oh no. Better than what he's got. I think I finally I finally did get an axe for Nikoko as well, so she's got a uh spear. Don't own one of those though, so we'll buy it. Those okay, spears. Um it doesn't really matter what spear we give Tyrannus because she does fix to damage. I mean I'll I guess it matters if it has like stats. Still, I'll still give it. Also, her regular attacks are better. It, it has no her fixed damage. Unless it has the spirit, which only once Lance does, and we can't make that one. Goodness, there's a lot. Gotta buy them all. I should I should work later actually. Oh, for this terrible. Do you need um no I want I want a hammer for Rika. A better hammer, that would be isn't good, but I'll still buy it. Okay, we can get one level for hammer. Maybe we'll actually give it to the guy if it's because it's only Buy this hammer, we'll give it to Fry. Oh, actually, we'll give it to Rick. That was not some good clean. Don't, don't worry about it. We'll buy some armor as well. We have enough money to buy some armor. The poor people have, like, not the good armor. But it is better than this really, really low level armor. Got this bone bangle, see if that's good for anyone. Why is her armor still? Oh, we'll give it to her. Probably gave her gear a long time ago and have placed it. What's the issue? A rune necklace? Unfortunately, I think almost everyone we use uses. Okay, well, apparently Amy has no armor, so <laughs> any armor is an improvement for her. That's unfortunate. I she can't equip that. Let's see if there's anything else we can buy before I run out of money. Only this. We can buy this. Too poor to buy anything else. Not gonna give that to Cyrus because it's much worse than what he currently has. Oh wait, I do want to give my people better hammers. Bought them hammers and then I not equip them. Unfortunate. I have the Morning Star. Rika can have the other one in the front line. Advanced hammer. There we go. Very good. I should make sure you guys have. Cyrus, how is your. using the best katana we've got? Yes. Okay. And let's check if all those go. Good. I think we have a better weapon than that. Yeah, claim. There we go. Play more. Uh, he has no armor? Oh, he has no badge. Okay. I forgot. I don't really have badges. I have, like, one badge, I think. I've got this Luck Endurance badge I picked up on our last run of, uh... The, um, Man-Eating March. Not very important. See, we've got a bunch of uh, achievements for getting armor and uh, weapons. Okay, now we're ready to go into the space time thing and die. You know, because that's what you do. Matter transmission engine is operational. Transport you anytime. 
Are you ready? Yes. To get them achievements? Ah, oh, yes. I, I have a problem with achievements. If they exist, I want them. It's not good. Very well. Begin the transmission process. Run it at maximum power. Transmission initiated. Max power authorized. Opening gate. Ooh, we can hop into this vortex. Coordinate margin of error below 0.0001%. Transmission beam stable. Systems clear. Everything is working as it should. Step through when you're ready. This will take us inside the corridor of time layers, huh? Thanks for all your help, Administrator. We'll get going now. Wait. Dot, dot, dot. Sir Administrator, is there a problem? Aren't you afraid? Afraid of what? Leaping into an unknown void, of course. Who knows what could happen in there? could be unstable and will almost definitely be hostile. Doesn't that bother any of you? Be lying if I said it didn't. Way deep down, I am scared. Who wouldn't be? I don't have the time to stand around and quake. I don't have time to stand around quaking in my boots. If we don't act now, the whole world is done for. Besides, we're not going it alone. We have each other. Hmm, I suppose you're right. Go, I'll be praying for your success. Thanks. Just wait, we'll be back. For the exciting music, something into void. Transmitting subject to the corridor of time layers. Vanished. All done, do. One at a time. Very slowly. Cyrus is resting in pose, I guess. The fate of the universe is in your hands. <laughs> to the corridor of time layers. Probably a questionable place to visit. This is the corridor of time layers, huh? Atmospheric composition, gravity, and temperature are all comparable to that on Earth. That's one less thing to worry about, but we still don't know what could be lurking in here. True, we should keep our guard up. I'm gonna go investigate the burlies. There's, there's a lot going on in the background here. It's a little overwhelming. Iron Giant. Oh, there's an Iron Giant. This one doesn't have a lightsaber, though. Aramis will fix the problems with FaceTime. All will be well. Phantom dust. Okay, that's a phantom dust, and that's iron giant. And they all have less than 5,000 health. They die to that. I guess they could have 5,000. They have 5,000 or less health. Like HP. Never quite sure what to call it. Corridor of Time Layers Antiquity. Oh, yeah. This is antiquity. Diamonds. You're a fool to challenge me. Apparently, antiquity is more blue green. It's no match for a dragon summoner. <laughs> I mean, as long as the enemies aren't strong, it's true. You will fall to my blade. They would fall to your blade if they didn't immediately die, Cyrus. Don't worry. You're just a little too slow. Oh my eye. This recess that looks like something. Okay, we need to clearly find whatever goes there. I've forgotten a lot of these old puzzly things. There we go. Take the person. 
crystal in the thing. Forward enough. That changed where this goes. Maybe? No. Oh wait, what's that? There's a cute. Nice. Future. That is a sparkle. You're the fool to challenge me. These are flying paper. Paper things with faces. I don't Hostiles know why, but they're cool. That's that's like text. Fair language. Best over here that I did not loot. How is this? Was this possible? I will take care of this. Oh, I did figure out yesterday. I figured out that if you stand near did an interactable object and you press, I think it was moves. F, interact with it. I didn't know how to do. That, that was how we got to antiquity. Antiquity time layer. Get on your knees and surrender. This place is gonna be good for uh. Okay, he can cope. Worst comes to worst, he'll just actually try. Brain stop. Kind of just came and went. I love this dragon. No one can defeat a dragon summoner. It does so much damage. It's great. Okay, we probably need to get over there. How? No, I don't remember. Really... No, oh, we're over here. Crystal. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. So we need to take the blue crystal back to the uh, thing. Change its location. Continue making our way through the corridor of time layers. Fix the world. I guess we're not fixing it. Fixing time. Oh, I need to hop through that. Of course. Yep. Everything is spinning and moving. There's there is so much going on here. Okay, we got another one of these. This is antiquity. Right? Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's another one. There. You're the fool to challenge me! Are very bound. Enemies are all pretty bouncy, actually. I guess it's kind of a simple animation to give them, so they're not just sitting there doing nothing awkwardly. But so you don't have to like massively animate them either. Kind of just make them as a. Uh... They're, they're kind of all paper dolls, really, when you think about it. Suppressing like right enemy. Time. Like their little arms and legs and head all uh next to their little body and they can move them around for animation. I don't really know how to describe it. What I'm trying to pull down. I like it first. It's a uh just a matter of taste. Eh? Get on your or not you like it. Huh? I personally do. Iris, he's so adorable. Get over there. I don't think I can get over there. Brace I can yourselves. see. Why oh, there's not a bunch of iron giants running around in the border of time layers? Like, I can kind of get the phantom dust and the, uh, and the, um, the weird paper things. But not really the Iron Giants. I don't, I don't understand. Maybe they I wandered in here? In, in very large quantities? Maybe someone made them to protect this place? I don't- I don't know. Maybe somewhere useful then? Okay. Crystal here? Nope, there's another one of these. Still looking for a crystal. Gotta be a crystal somewhere. Let us. 
let us continue on. Let's go there. Let's catch. Follow you here. Fall to my blade. And where is this last crystal? Well, there's probably more than this one. Need the next one. Ooh, money. That's I spent all my money. Very mediocre armor. Weapons. Okay, we can go here, and maybe this will lead us to the next crystal. Get on your knees and surrender! Stop leaving me in the middle of the screen. It's kinda hard. I keep forgetting to do it. Hostiles I like to click on things. Set. Next. Yep. A little bit like a bismuth. Very nice. I like this. Especially when it's like shiny. I don't know if that's how it comes. Looks very nice. Me through. Yeah. Okay, we have arrived at the major trial. Ready for this. Probably not ready, but we're gonna do it anyway. Because after all, the worst that could happen is that we die and try again. What's up with this place? Looks like several different worlds layered on top of one another. Antiquity, present, and future. The time periods are resonating with each other and phasing together. This would appear to be a characteristic unique to this location. I conjecture. We've got bigger things to worry about. Violent gravitational waves detected. This is a temporal distortion given physical form. This is what Xenoprisma created. In other words, if we beat this thing, we stop the time quakes. That's some science I can get behind. Let's do this. Uh, scary. Yes, it's very scary. Let us defeat it. Mostly because it's scary. And also because it's safe. Are these eyes? I feel like they're looking at me, but I don't know if they're eyes, which is very concerning. Premise the regen your Prayer to the divine. We will handle this. Got a Gatling gun. Target acquired. That's just rude. Uh, heal. Yeah. Metal claw. It definitely does have claws. Medical support activated. Much obliged. Mine stamp. Water flash. Spin plant. We'll swap back to at Roll illusion. Turned into Galliard. Medical that was support unpleasant. Helped him to healing as well. Uh, stop gatling Bless gunning my healers. Uncalled for. Them. I need them. Medical support activated. Doing this the hard way. The big portal monster? It is. It is. Worry not. We shall kill it. Please uh -huh. stop killing my people. I need them. I cannot kill you if you kill them. Which is probably the idea, really. A little... I don't know what these... There's like a claw, and eyeballs, and wings, and... I guess a temporal distortion doesn't necessarily look like a real creature. You're going in its portal? Uh, no, we just want to... want to kill it before it, it, it destabilizes time and space. Stop turning into Galliard and dealing massive damage to my people. Target These are better than this. Heal, heal. Water slash. Let's keep it. We want to keep it debuffed. Because it does less damage if we debuff. Healers don't have to do as much work to keep up. 
unfortunately don't have many guarantees. Well, I have one guaranteed debuff, but it's pain, and I don't I don't really need guaranteed pain right now. I mean, guaranteed pain is really good, but I have no one to take for your it for Oh, stop it. Stop it. You're gonna kill Pride. Yeah, this is this is the boring. The hard way is also the boring way. We're gonna we're gonna swap back to Tiramis. Tiramis, come in and show this thing who's boss. Time layer has started to distort. Distort. Origin time 900 AD. I guess we did enough damage to it that it did that. Underestimate what a dragon summoner can do. Oh yeah, we got we got another force. Exterminate. Mm, time for I can click so fast. Everyone, give me your strength. They have a shared. Uh, yeah, most of that was Tiramis. <laughs> time layer has started to distort. Origin time, 10,000 BC. Now that's 100,000 BC. Blue TF is this. Another force. Have you not seen another force? This boss looks so cool. Time layer distortion. You gotta kill him to save time space. As you do. Ultra twin dragons, yeah. That, yeah, Ultra Trend Dragons got him. You don't think so? I like this, this thing. I'm tired of all the spinning and the thing. There, there's too much going on here. Hard on my little brain. We did it. That distortion has disappeared. This means the world is safe, right? Right? I mean, I can't imagine defeating one fixes it forever. Do not be so naive. Phantom. What is the meaning of this? End of the world has already begun. What? Huh? What was that? Uh, I don't think that's good. Very bad, actually. Uh, the, the skyhold is eating the island. This does not look good. My brethren have begun to flow from the corridor of time layers. As we speak, they are getting ready to push an entire floating continent into it. That's crazy. Why would you do that? The force generated by the impact will result in a shock equal to that of the time quake. Now you will see the futility of your efforts. Sit back and watch. It will be quite the spectacle. No. Oh. So yeah, it's it's going. It's going. Oh, it's gone. Not good. Reality's getting ready to die. I think. Shockwaves are spreading throughout the corridor, and they're colliding with the time quake energy. Once these combine once these combined disasters echo as far as antiquity, they will surely tear time and space apart. Not my favorite time and space. Warning. Shockwaves influence to antiquity confirmed. No suggestions available. Look at him. He's so beauteous. Elamander, you and the other elementals dare to interfere. Child of man, we entrust the future to you. So beautiful. That was a nice song. Sacrificed themselves to push back the wave? Inconceivable.
We are not safe yet. Backdraft from the Tang Quake is rushing toward the future. Or Salamander. Yes. He's such a cool guy. Everybody, please hurry. The corridor of time layers is closing. Aldo, come on. Arg. You're so close. Get yourselves out of here. Salamander is adorable. I mean, probably mostly because he's a big fire salamander. Salamanders are adorable. Then, the world was shaken by an enormous time quake. Fragments of the four great elemental spirits scattered and fell around the world over the next few days encircled the planet like a million shooting stars. Poor elemental. Mostly salamander though, because we didn't get immediately until they were alive. Just a, a nice little black hole. Uh, hanging out on the planet now. Space-time has reached its limit. The flow of time is deteriorating. You see that? The dimensional vortex is a pit of infinite chaos. May it swallow up this entire pathetic universe. More like a whirlpool. I'm not really sure. Five days later. The main character didn't die in the time time corridors when there's way more than half of the game left to go? I'm in shock. Emo Phantom Boy needs to get wrecked by a dragon summoner. Mm, that'd do him some good, I think. After all that, we still weren't able to prevent the quake. Damage would have been even worse if it weren't for the elementals. They saved all of us. What was the point of everything we did? None of it accomplished a thing. If only we'd been stronger. I mean, all of reality wasn't destroyed, so... Who's that? Do not despair, Aldo. You still have a chance to turn things around. Oh, this is the guy in charge of, uh, you know where we summon the characters, the dream place? He, he's the guy who, that mechanic, in charge of that. You're from the Gallery of Dreams. What are you doing here? Time quake may have come to pass, but damage was kept to a minimum. You should take pride in that, at least. That just leaves us with the problem of that dimensional vortex. Nothing changes, make no mistake, the world will be consumed by it. Role in these events is not over yet. Have you forgotten what Professor Kronos told you? You, Cecile, and the Geoprisma are this world's final hope. I don't even know where or when I am right now. Sorry. My Alexa was talking to me. I don't even know when, or where, or when I am right now. I'm all on my own. What can I possibly do? I disagree. You're not alone. You're never alone. You all will be this world's saviors. You must believe in the possibilities you share with your allies. They may just contain the potential to change tomorrow. Do not give in yet. Now go. The world awaits you. Have you just been sitting on this island for five days? Like, man tried so hard and got so far but in the end it didn't even really matter sorry that really should you will be unable to switch between maps or arrange your party for a while aldo and this cat from antiquity At this point in the original my original playthrough i'd stopped using him and he was super under leveled and i got killed by these crabs <laughs> it was not good it was very sad, actually. He still might get killed by the crabs, but I think he has a chance. Come on, Aldo. Beat that crab. 
blazing sword. Yeah, you can do it. It... It died. Brace yourselves. Ah, it's another one. But I could escape the crabs. Oh gosh, that sounds so pathetic, lol. <laughs> Come on, crab, self destruct. I just killed this one properly. Last island. I can show you the super boss that it took me a long time to defeat. It was so scary when the time quake hit. I thought the world was ending. Can't imagine that would have happened if it went on any longer. Imagine what would have happened. Just can't try not to speak. Surely a part of how we got into this mess was the big city using up the Xeno Prisma. I think we've gotten to a point where we need to rethink how we live our lives. Oh, look at this beautiful water. Very peaceful. I guess this keeps the water from all falling down onto the uh, land. That thing in the sky disappeared, so now we don't have to worry about time quakes anymore, right? Those things were really stressing me out. Go see, uh, oh gosh, what's it? This guy. I can get owned by it. Imbr I think it's the Embryon Basin. The? Yeah, Embryon Basin. This guy used to be real tough. There's no way I can defeat it. I will. I'm the lady. Uh, no, I do not wish to continue. I cannot, uh, cannot beat that. <laughs> You need like a you need either like really strong damage characters or like some healer. I don't think it's that tough anymore because power creep. Wow, you know, I really didn't think I'd make it out of that alive. But made it through somehow. Everyone's very happy to not have died. I mean I guess I would be too if there was a massive er earthquake and then everyone was alright. You know, I was really surprised. I never felt shaking like that before. It's a good thing we're such a small village, the damage isn't that bad here. Will steal your belongings. I need them to craft weapons and armor. I don't know why I need them for that, but I do. An old man. What do you suppose would happen if we were no longer able to use Xeno Prisma? How do you think the world would recover from that? I, I think that is the issue. I think you kind of need to stop using Xeno Prisma. It'll just happen again if you keep doing it. There are other floating islands besides Elsian, you know. I hope they've not all been as badly damaged as we have. Oh yeah, this is the last island. Sorry, just last island. Not even the. That. Be my friend, Paneka. Oh, look at his little. He's adorable. All the little kitties can time travel with me. Okay, now we can go to the end. And rest. That you, Aldo. Finally, we've been looking all over for you. Oh, I found my people. Everyone. Elemental spirits gave their lives to give us a chance at a better future. This is no time to take it easy and hang out on the beach. Hi. Aldo, an unexpected protocol has started running within me, telling me we cannot allow this world to perish. We must persevere. Verily, the G pages must have been ripped from my directed from my dictionary, for I do not know the meaning of the phrase "give up." Don't worry about my inability to read. <laughs> you're all you're right, all of you. You've reminded me of what's truly important. Don't know how much we can achieve, but I'm determined to keep fighting to the bitter end. I just wish I knew where to start. Can't help worrying about Fine either. That Oracle guy suggested we head to Time's Forgotten Stop in the space-time rift. Apparently, Master there has something to say. I'd almost forgotten about that place. It's worth chasing any info we can get our hands on right now. Let's hear him out. How can you forget about it, Aldo? We have to go there every time we want to time travel. There's a wormhole right outside this building that should take us there. First, I must rest. Hello, old lady. You must be tired from your travels. Why not take a moment to rest? He 
music it plays. Nice. He's not the brightest. It's okay. Did you sleep well? I'd love to take whatever it is you've got, but I don't have time right now. No loot here. Time to run away. Okay. Oh wait, I don't think I talked to this child. There are other flo- oh wait, I did. Go. I didn't go in this building, though. Xeno Prisma's acting weird. The output isn't stable anymore. I don't think we'll ever get back to the good old days. Man has nothing to steal! Why does he even exist? It's probably not a good way to judge whether or not someone should exist. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's a very bad way to judge. Space-time rift. Very peaceful place. These nice little railings that keep you from falling into the... nothingness. Not on the corners. Not very secure. Although you've come at a good time. Why's that? We've got a customer who wants to hear about people's adventures. Must have a lot of stories worth telling. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, this is uh, this is a thing that where you can replay old like story story scenes. Your thing. Where is he? He's in the basement right now. There's a basement. What? You didn't know that? Look, just beyond the tree. Until now, we couldn't walk past this tree. Some stairs to the basement. He'll be down there. I had no idea. I mean, I tried to walk past the tree a lot, but it didn't used to exist. There used to be no beyond the tree. to the gallery master. Not the gallery master. Regular master. In, in dude. Good to see you again, Aldo. Things sure are looking rough, huh? I knew- I know you did what you could, though. I hear all kinds of rumors in a place like this. Thought you might be interested in one. Word on the street is, the synth humans are up to something. Could be they have some kind of insight on the dimensional vortex. Don't suppose you'd care to take a trip to the Lalu Dome and do some recon, would you? Just so happens, a new pillar of light leading there opened up outside a few days ago. Spare doesn't suit you, Aldo. I believe you'll open up the path to a new tomorrow for all of us. Very peaceful here. I think this is... Yeah, that's the last island. We don't want to go. We're just there. The Lalu Dome. Lau, Laulu? Lalu? Laulu. Laulu Dome probably is... Correct. Laulu. All this... Beat. That's something concerned about. To run around in the grass. I'm pretty sure there's loot in the grass, but okay. Mitch had lost the grass. Maybe it's somewhere else in the grass. Making prop, prop, not circles, but prop things in the grass. Hello, sir. People are saying the time quake has ripped apart space time at the seams. Is it true? Is that how the monsters from the dark dimension are getting into our world? And we need to do something to protect our world and our way of life. Hit! Oh, she's adorable. Child, quit nagging me. Leave me alone. Presumably part of that quest. In the city, all the dangerous and tricky jobs were left to the synth humans. That's why when they rebelled, starting with the construction industry, everything started falling apart. That was a very cute cat. I know, she's so like roundy. Fact is, the robots aren't really a proper substitute for the synths. I guess we have to do some of our own work. Do you have anything that can be mine? Look at this totally non-alcoholic. Talk to the people and steal their belongings. Proper RPG way to do things. Oh, very nice, cozy looking beds. Kind of like big cat beds. Sometimes I think it would like a human sized cat bed. I heard the synth humans are making a giant ship in the sky. 
You heard it. You didn't see it, perchance. What are they thinking? Doing something like that's liable to start a war, you know? So there. The Laolu Dome was built for people looking to live a life like our ancestors, as close to nature as possible. Of course, it's impossible to get rid of all modern trappings. But the lighter our load is, the more, we, a, more able we are to adapt to new situations. <gasps> Another cat! Abisha! Oh, Abisha! She's so pretty! Come with me, Abisha. I want all the cats to hang out with me. Why can I only have one cat at a time? This is cruelty. Kawaii. Yeah. Pretty Kawaii. Look at this inn full of non-alcoholic shots. Don't know what's going on, but I feel like there's a hole in my heart. Like I'm not myself. It's like our connection to the world's been severed and we're just floating through this dimension. Starting to feel like everything came to an end a long time ago, and we're waiting for it to catch up with us. Special occasions, and sometimes when he fe just feels like it, the fireworks man shoots off a bunch of fireworks. I enjoy it every time. It's just another benefit of living in this dome on the surface. Dome on the surface? The Great Lalu Dome. Especially when you have to have multiple to drag your corpses off. Yeah, there's like four cats who drag our corpses off. And it's none of the cats that hang out with us. It's a white cat with a pink bow. That apparently exists, uh, like, at least four of them. We'll talk to you momentarily. Hey, lovely lady. First, we must speak to everyone here. That's a Ever since that great time quake struck, it's like the whole world's gone quiet. It's like everyone's just waiting for the next bad thing to happen. These flowers are very nice. I like them a lot. Sorry, child. I will just steal your belongings. I will steal it. Okay, that's where I came from. Weapon shop. I'll see if there's anyone else. There's no one else in here, though. I don't really have it. No reason to talk. Some nice benches. Do you wonder what the future will look like? Because there's so many versions of what the future will look like. Oh, this is the end. Visit the inn either. I do need to turn my air conditioner on. It's getting hot. Man, this section of the airport is temporarily off limits. The time quake has disrupted our equipment. We are working to repair it as fast as we can. I'm pretty sure you still can't go there. Um, a lot of things never got repaired, I guess storyline. This music is making you sleepy. <laughs> that flying rift breaker is scary, but it's also kind of cool, isn't it? The people of Elzian had no, have no choice but to make something like that now. Made a giant robot, now they need to show off its super attack. Doing your quest, I'm sorry. I'll come back later. You know, it's advisable to work on side quests so that I don't get too under level, but... I have Tiramis. Look at this man! Folks in the capital are all about their LED firecrackers and or firecrackers and organic fireworks. Those don't got nothing on the real thing. Now I'm all for working in harmony with the environment, that's why I moved out here to be closer to nature. I designed those cannons outside myself. 50 inch wide barrels capable of launching close to a thousand pounds worth of fireworks. Don't expect I'll get much chance to use them anymore. It's a crying chain. They had so much potential. Very into his fireworks. Organic fireworks. <laughs> now when you make your fireworks out of organically grown gunpowder. I don't think you grow gunpowder. You create a plant that makes gunpowder, and then you grow it organically. Have you youngsters noticed that ship just outside the dome? I hear it's the synth humans that are building it. Interdimensional warship and some such. People say they're planning to fly it into that vortex thing and manipulate history. If they succeed, they could create a new world where synth humans are on top. I just hope it's not true. What would happen to us if our history was overwritten? Whoa, they have that kind of technology. An airship is one thing, but if it can travel through time, we're really in trouble. Just the idea of synth humans tampering with history gives me the chills. 
You would pay so much money for a plan like that. <laughs> Sometimes the direct approach is best. I'd say a trip to this airship is in order. How would we gain access to it? The only existing matter transmission engine is back in Elsian. Furthermore, since human structures are semi-organic, beaming inside them would really risk molecular integration. There's a price of gunpowder whenever a Democrat gets elected. You want to grow your own gunpowder? Teleporting's out, then. How else can we get on board their ship? One thing at a time. Let's ask around, see if anyone has some useful info. Maybe the fireworks man with his giant cannons! And his picture, that means he's special. Okay, maybe I need to talk to someone else before. Do I have to talk to this child to tell me that the fireworks man might help me? The freaking sky rocks, rockets and you can't get it economically? How rude. I need to stop hoarding their gunpowder. Hey, have you seen the ship moored outside the town? It's a synth human warship. Uh, I hate to admit it, but it's kind of rad. It's called the Synth Hydra. I wish the engineers in Elsian would get to work on something as awesome as that. They're just a bunch of nerds. We need more heart pounding action in our lives. Don't they get that? In fact, forget ships. Skip right ahead to the crazy huge robots with rocket fist attacks. Pew pew boom. Little knucklehead, don't you realize people are in real danger? Kids these days are so screwy. I do not even understand what a crazy huge robot is. Oh, uh, think of it as like a really big version of Rika. Rika Colossus, good heavens. Children in the future certainly dream of some outlandish inventions. Amy, I regret to inform you that your explanation is lacking in accuracy. Allow me to clarify. I am an android, a fully independent life form. I object to being classified alongside pilotable machines. Whoa, sorry. It was just a comparison, alright? I thought that'd make it easier for Cyrus to understand. Verily, a giant Rika is a wonderful concept. I would ga love to gaze upon such a thing with my own eyes. Shut up, Rika! <laughs> the rocket fist attack part that I find interesting. Boom, huh? By the way, kid, what are those pipe-looking things over there? Been wondering for a while. Oh, those? They're for shooting up rockets and stuff? A firework maker lives in that house right there. Nobody cares about your feelings. Man, you don't you don't like poor Rika, do ya? Because she's a robot. You anti-android person. Wait, fireworks? Yes, all no fireworks. We already knew about the fireworks. We talked to the fireworks man. I know the game can't account for that, but we did. Ain't you a bunch of gloomy gusses? What's got you folks so down in the mouth, huh? I'd be glad to hear you out if you've got a problem. Might help to get things off your chest, you know? Man's mustache. No, yeah, I don't like Rika because she's a hoe. Aw, poor Rika. Hi there, we have a favor to ask. Sorry, it's kind of a big one. Can you fire us out of your rocket cannons? Our nation, what an idea. Thumbs for fireworks, not people. If you want to fly, there's easier and less dangerous ways. Just go skydiving or something. Can't go skydiving under the synth hydra. No, no, you've got it wrong. We want to use your cannons to... Get on board the synth human warship. Wait, that's your brilliant idea? You cannot be serious. I'm not getting fired out of any cannon. Dangling from a rocket as it speeds through the sky towards the destruction? Count me out. I actually don't really care, but ragging on her is too much fun. I get that. I very much get that! <laughs> Although your plan is for us to be packed into fireworks and shot at the ship, please confirm. Don't humor him, Rika. We never even fit into one of those. I know it sounds crazy, but we need to stop the synth humans and we don't have a lot of options. No one else has any better ideas? Crazy is all we have to fall back on. Erg, I guess you're right. There is some sense in what you say. I love his frog eyeballs. They're so neat. You're going after the synth hydra, huh? That changes things. Still a fool's errand, if you ask me. I do have an extra large spherical shell in my storehouse. Maybe coat the inside with protective magic instead of gunpowder and jack up the durability of the outer shell. Mmm, magical gunpowder fireworks. So it is doable. I reckon it might just work. No guarantees, though. This little model with his little mustache, it looks so funny. Like, it looks fine on his regular character, but it looks really funny over here. 
adorable. If there's a chance, we'll take it. It's better than just hoping the ship will never fly. Hi, right, sounds like a challenge, but I'm gonna need a lot of gunpowder to fire all four of you. Times are tough enough as it is. I barely got any left for my own use. Though, with everything that's going on right now, I doubt anywhere is still selling. Dang, they're having troubles with acquiring gunpowder as well. Can't you use a different explosive? With some kind of magic, maybe? Gunpowder's been tried and tested over centuries of use. Can't properly regulate the size of explosion with those others. Calculations are even a little off. You could get blown to smithereens without ever getting off the ground. Okay, so what do we do now? We're running out of time here. Don't get your tacits in a twist. I got a feeling something like this may happen. Had a feeling something like this may happen. Got myself a contingency plan. Raising these creatures called Magmakin feels outside the dome on the sly like. Y'all can go wrangle me, say three of them, I reckon we'll be good to go. I've studied them for years now, I know exactly what kind of firepower they're packing and how to control it. Sounds good to me. We'll go grab them right now. Hold on a sec, take these sunflower seeds with you. They're the perfect bait, magma can just love them. Thanks. No problem, I'll get to work preparing for your launch while you're gone. Bye, happy fireworks man. Time to go running out in the field. What are the sunflower seeds? These fields are amazing. It's like an ocean of golden stalks. I could walk around in here for hours. Beautiful it may be, it makes it hard to spot any incoming foes. My sensors detect several organic heat sources. The creatures the pyrotechnician described must be here somewhere. And we've just got to lure them out. Here, Magmakin, Magmakin, look, yummy sunflower seeds. Here they come. That's... I don't like it very much. Oh, dang it, I have our own twin dragons instead of... It's proper. It's a proper thing. That's fine, though. Cyrus got Hostiles it. Hostiles eliminated. A good lad, Cyrus. That was just one, though. I think we need, like, two... One down, two to go. Hard to believe something like that could hide out here. We'd better keep looking. So he's just secretly raising these in the fields that I'm pretty sure don't belong to him. That's uh, a little concerning. I'll try not to worry about it too much. Gather the sunflower seeds? Yes. Why are we murdering them? Uh, we need them for... because we don't have gunpowder. Apparently, feels like there's something around here too. Fresh sunflower seeds, come and get it. Uh, apparently they can replace the gunpowder somehow. Let's see if a summoner's ritual will get them. Oh, not quite. They got slightly over a five thousand health. Mistake. Sneak your end. <gasps> Did you see my we can upgrade graceful Tiramis. moves? That should be enough. Let's get these guys back to the pyrotechnician. Gunpowder livestock? I guess. Not sure if they're legal, though, considering he said he was raising them on the sly. <laughs> be a little concerning. We should heal up, and also I should give Tiramis her um, better, a better version of her ability. I finally have enough uh, points for it. Second one should be 4 to 6. Come on. Don't worry about it. Here's a lunchbox on the house. Bon appetit. Lolly bread and salad. And salad. I don't really like salad, but it still sounds good. Time to give the tiram this cat is so cute. Tiramis? Ability board. She's been using uh, Summoner's Ritual. Now we can finally unlock the next level of it. Which is... Summoner's Gift. It stacks three Dragon Origins, and it scales with her um, spirit value up to 140. For it. So she'll be able to do more than 5,000 damage now. Just gotta replace that with Summoner's Gift. There we go. Now we're ready to face whatever's, whatever's on the Synth Hydra. Probably Synths. It's been a while since we popped the Synths. 
You got them? Nice work. Next step is to calibrate the cannon, but that won't take long. He says, but man, did Garrus spend an awful lot of time calibrating things in Mass Effect 2. Although, there is still one unresolved issue relating to this strategy. Oh, what is that? Even if the pyrotechnics work as planned, there is sure to be a security perimeter around the Synth Hydra. It is reasonable to assume the ship itself will also be equipped with missiles, lasers, and other weaponry. Taking this into account, the chances of us successfully infiltrating the ship are less than 8%. Indeed, any decent marksman would have no trouble picking off a human-sized projectile. Some countermeasures against being shot out of the sky would put my mind at ease. Need to disable the security system and draw their attention away all at once. Can we do that? I'm drawing a blank. A huge firework being launched isn't exactly easy to miss. We would need an inside agent. None of us can pass as a synth human. Unless, no, you don't mean. She would be more than capable of creating the opportunity we need. Chances of her agreeing to help us may be low, but we shouldn't write them off. We have nothing to lose by asking. You have a screw loose. These synth humans are your enemies, are they not? And you truly count on one of them to betray their allies for us. Not sure, but like Ricka says, we can't we can at least go talk to her. We'll just be throwing our lives away if we can't get past their security. Whatever it is you gotta do, go ahead and do it. I can carry on just fine back here. Come on back when you're done. I'll be right here. Sure, thanks for everything. Doubt Helena's going to be happy to see us, but we still have to try. Ooh, we gotta go see Helena again. Purple. And also cool. But mostly purple. In the um, place where we saw her last. Yeah, the industrial ruins. You know, last time we saw her, we just murdered her uh, partner. I'm sure she'll be happy to see us. But we do not need. Okay, so we don't need summoners gift. This guys are actually low enough level now that we can handle it just fine, which is great. Okay, continue on this way. For sure, level 8 lol. <laughs> yep, feel a little bit. Oh, hey, we can kill that guy. We can kill him and take his treasure. Meet Exciting. This must be what it's like being a pirate, maybe? I don't, I don't really know. Treasure hunter? Being attacked. No, oh, leave me be. I have things to do. To I have to murder this giant robot man for fun. And loot. An axe. Oh, this won't be so difficult. Summoner's <laughs> gift. This has a lot of help. Luckily, it's a low level, so it doesn't hit too hard. We can start hitting it with the. Uh, Twin dragons. <gasps> Should be enough to kill it. Yeah, it's so much better once she gets more than two stacks of dragon origin a turn because she consumes one every turn. So it's so hard to stack them up when she keeps eating them all. I, I don't think eating is the term, but I'm gonna call it eating. Just like when I feed them the uh, level scrolls, that's also eating. You're a fool to challenge me. After all, if you use it on a person and you can't get it back, clearly they ate it. Okay, we gotta go deeper in. Oh dear. There are so many of these guys. Do not want you wasting your, your twin dragons on these guys. That is, uh, not how. The only reasonable conclusion? Exactly. Dang, we gotta go all the way to the bottom, though. To where, uh, so we killed Galliard and, uh, where we left Helen the last. Shall we venture on? We'll have to fight her. I don't think we fought her yet. Can't remember. I, I honestly can't remember if we fought Helena. <laughs> I think we did. I think we fought Brace her. Yourselves. 
I'll punish you! Did you see my graceful move? People are so strong now. I mean, they're only level 3. They're so strong. I'm so proud of them. They've come such a long way. I'm traveling adventures. Industrial Ruin Sky Bridge. Furnace. It's another guy. Kill it. I will take care of this. <laughs> yes, Cyrus, good lad. Shall good we venture on? It. I'm getting used to his voice. It used to bother me a lot. But I'm learning to cope. Did you see my graceful moves? <laughs> She does like to talk. Why is Cyrus this way more? Alder doesn't talk. I don't know why. Do they talk in the order you have them? Like, they're more likely to talk if they're closer to this side? I don't think that's a thing. I don't know why anyone would program it like that. I think it's just a coincidence. I think it also maybe has to do with who uses abilities. Cyrus can talk as much as he wants. Yes, he can. I, I'm I'm not sure how their uh, access. Where would it go? Well, I'm a little bit lost. Okay, that is where I went. Not biased at all here. Uh, no bias at all. Definitely. There's Helena. Okay, I assume we're gonna fight her then. Look at her. She floats and she's purple and she's got. Whatever this is going on, you. What do you want? You finally decided to put an end to my miserable existence. We came to ask you a favor. We need your help to get on board the Synth Hydra. Ah, you have some nerve asking me for favors. Synth Hydra is part of the Riftbreaker constructed by my allies, Non. What are you planning? Climb on my back and have me fly you there. Sorry, but I am not a cargo carrier. Actually, we were going to fly there inside a giant firework. Need your help protecting us from any incoming attacks. Did I hear you right? A firework. You must be out of your minds. Is this a joke? As outlandish as it may sound, this is the plan we've thought through thoroughly. May I ask you a question? Does this plan of yours involve destroying the Synth Hydra? We haven't thought that far ahead. All I know is we can't allow anyone to interfere with the past. Just erasing the future isn't a right anyone should have. The whole world is in a lot of trouble right now thanks to that huge time break. We're going to have to put aside our differences if we want to survive. Perhaps you are right. Overwriting history is a risky business. It can never be a viable stratagem. Besides, I am fundamentally a pacifist. I may have been unable to convert Galliard, but I still prefer peace to war. Allying myself with the ones who killed Galliard, that is a different story. Please, Helena, you're the only one we can turn to. Can't bear the thought of the planet being damaged any more than it already has. You seem a little different from before. Perhaps there is hope after all. Very well, I will join forces with you. I do this not for humanity, but for the good of the planet. I feel it is a matter of duty. Wow, you mean it? Not so fast. I have one condition. Fight me. If you emerge victorious, I will join you without further complaint. What? Hey RPG, we gotta do some fighting! This is the least I can do to honor the memory of my fallen comrades for Galliard. When you put it that way, we're not gonna hold back, though. Wouldn't have it any other way. Come at me with everything you've got. Consider this a test of your resolve to do right by the planet. On guard. I don't think she's all that great either after their, um, buffs. But I'm gonna use her anyway because I don't care. Well, don't pry for her. Although that sentence doesn't make much sense. Did it make much sense the way it was written, or did I read it wrong? Because <laughs> either of those is entirely possible. Twin dragons. Can you survive the twin dragons? Oh, oh wait, she's... Uh, Medical support activated. Heal. Heal. 
Two twin dragons. Let's see how much that is. Got a lot of health. Thanks. And as far as I know, she will never look like this again. The way it was written. Oh dang! We're out of MP! You have to actually try! <laughs> no! To the divine. Actually working for my victories? What is this? I'm gonna lose if I'm not careful here. Okay, both of you guys need to heal. Amy, come to the front line. Ooh, Cyrus isn't dead. Cyrus is like my main damage dealer after Jeremus. <laughs> she join our harem? Yes, she's gonna join our harem once we beat her. No, I don't want to switch Cyrus. Okay. Oh, come on, come on. Here we go. They're almost dead. It's okay, Tiramis has some MP back. Back to the front line, Tiramis. Back to the back line, Amy. Don't underestimate what a dragon summon Excellent. can do. Medical support activated. A praiseworthy effort. Praiseworthy effort. That's what she said when her <laughs> companion went to the back line. Is this this? Come on, Tiramis. You're an Earth type character. She shouldn't be able to do too much damage to you. Could definitely kill you. You got this. One 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 purple girl with pigtails facing off against another purple girl with pigtails. One of them's just a robot. Uh -huh. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. We did it! We did it! Yeah, I, I really need to help my other people. They are very, very sad. Because I've been skipping all the side quests. Is there, is there a dessert girl carrying once again? Oh yeah, she's carrying hard. She's carrying very hardcore. We have you to thank for her existence, because you told me to pull on her banner, and we got her. I yield. Your determination is clearly the real thing. Now that's out of the way, you'll join us, right? Of course. I am a synth woman of my word. All I ask is that you display the same dedication and force of will when saving the planet. I will do my part and assist you in any way I can. I have a feeling that is what our creator, Professor Kronos, would have wanted too. Yes, that's how chance works. Welcome to the team. Now let's get back to the Lalu Dome and put a stop to the Synth Hydra. I think we'll go to there and then we will stop there because I just realized I've been streaming for almost three hours, which is a very long time for me because I normally stream for like one hour, <laughs> but between 40 minutes and one hour. I'm a, I'm a baby streamer. Earth Breaker. That'll be exciting. Get a heal because we almost got wiped by Helena. <laughs> doing a long haul stream for me yeah quite quite long i think i streamed for like two hours once and like last week and that was my longest stream at the time this is now my longest okay we'll stand right here by this child and we'll put helena in our party you got her right go away pry i love you but i love helena more <gasps> there she is look at her she's so purple purple see. He's an earth mage. Actually, oh, I guess level 36 is about the appropriate level for here. So we're actually not too bad. Uh, Cyrus, Aldo, and Rick are just slightly underleveled. Amy is a lot underleveled. Let's see if I have some scrolls I can do. Amy, do we have any scrolls to beat? Three low class. There you go. That'll help you out a little tiny bit. There we go. There's our crew. Story characters plus Tira. It, I couldn't fit the rest. That was all that would fit. <laughs> Okie dokie. That's, uh, that's gonna be it for today. Just realized you can see my lights up here. I probably should adjust my camera angle. Thank you for watching Grimthorpe 101 and anyone else who came by. See you again soon.